in Lee here, we sit here, we've had a few cuts between us, but haven't done something that you've managed to achieve, which um, annoyingly my father has, which is Captain England. Um, how, I mean, I'm fascinated by it. How did the phone call come? Was it a long conversation? What's it like standing in front of the 14 best players in England around you and having, having to address them? It's that, because we all live our lives now as ex rugby players vicariously through the players who are still playing now. I'd give anything to have one more crack. I foolishly ran around in the, in the Health Heroes game last week, looked him <laughs> up at a couple of times, <laughs> lost 36 22, but gave everything just to be in that gym, went back to the same peg. So I, a feeling I've never experienced, I've won a few medals in a variety of different tournaments, but just tell the guys your feelings of, of captaining England. Yeah, it's, you know, it's obviously a very special occasion when you're asked to do it. The, the manner in which it happened was, was quite entertaining because uh, Steve Borthwick, who was captain at the time, pulled up injured during training and Jono came up to me and said, look, if Borthwick doesn't come through, then you'll be captain. Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. And it was our day off, so we went home. Jono, at that time, uh, lived not far up the road from me. And... Um, I was at home playing with, uh, with Dylan, who's my little son, who was about two at the time. We were on the trampoline and, uh, and the, phone, the phone rang and I saw it was Jono. And uh, I was quite nervous about it, actually, because, you know, it's, it is a huge privilege. But to be captain of your com country and the pressures and everything that go with it, I was, I was nervous. Would I be good enough? Would, you know, would I be able to lead the guys? Would it, would it be something I'd, that would come naturally to me? All those sorts of worries. So, you know, apart from that, I was spending a bit of time with Dylan, so I just put it on hold. I said, right, I'll call you back in a minute. And uh, anyway, so I was bouncing around on the trampoline and, uh, and Jono came walking into the garden, so he did. <laughs> <laughs> I like he, the way he brushes over the fact that he doesn't answer his phone. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, so he wandered, he wandered up the garden and uh, I was like, so obviously knew, I knew what was coming. Um, and, and he just walked up to me, all right? Yeah, yeah. He brought uh, his little girl around, Molly, and she went on the trampoline. So it was just like one of those awkward son dad moments. It was like, <laughs> it, it was brilliant. He was like, You all right? Yep. So, what do you think? Fancy, uh, fancy being captain? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the end, honestly, that's, <laughs> that's how it was. It was surreal. And, you know, I suppose, we, you know, we're both fairly sort of macho men and you don't like to make it an emotional moment and all that sort of stuff. So, did you hug? <laughs> We kissed and we had no, no, you know, we that was it. It was just a conversation. It was as simple as that. And uh, and you know, the, the most amazing part about being asked to be captain was the fact that the first person I wanted to call was was my dad. Because for any son to be able to call his dad and say, "Dad, look, I've been asked to be captain of my country," it was a real special moment. So he was the very first person I told about it, and um, and you know, it was it was a humbling experience for me, and uh, and I'm sure it made him very proud. So, but um. I, I, never felt, I never felt that captaincy was going to be one of those things that would sort of come to me. Did I want it? I wasn't that fussed. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. And, and that was the most important thing for me, to play as well as I could do on the pitch. If I was asked to be captain, OK, fine. It wasn't something I hungered for. So, so when it came around, it was, it, it was a very weird moment. And I remember addressing the boys. My first game as captain was, it was France away. And... Um, I got the boys in and huddle and you know you think about the things that you're going to say beforehand and and the words of wisdom that you impart and to be honest a lot of the, a lot of the stuff you say in addressing me beforehand is is purely to psych yourself up rather than anyone else <laughs> and uh, and I start and anyone that knows me know that when I start going I start swearing and I get a bit carried away and excited and uh, and I started I started sort of almost welling up and I I didn't want to have a Delalio moment you know where you're in tears on camera before the game. <laughs> So I was like, oh, God. I was like, generally welling up at the thought. I don't know whether it was the thought of being captain or the fact that I was captain and that I was with a group of players that I loved playing the game with that were about to go out and play France and, and hopefully stop them winning the Grand Slam. And uh, it, I just got really emotional about it. I had to literally cut short through the speech. There was suddenly silence for a minute. And uh, we actually went out and, and we, had, we, had a, we had a good game. We didn't win. We lost by two points. We should have won. But, um, you know, it will always remain one of the most incredible experiences of my life captain in my country the last couple of months will always remain some of the most disappointing and uh, and i've questioned myself 
you know, at length as, as to what I could have done better as captain and, and to what we could have done better as a team. And, uh, you know, now the, the new management, the new captain will, will go on and, and learn and, and the team will do well. It may take a bit longer than we'd all like, but, um, but for me it was always a privilege to be part of England and, and to play with guys that you'd always called your mates and that you'd, you'd fight and die for on the pitch. I'm starting to get yeah. excited again. <laughs> <laughs> good enough, good enough. So, it's amazing.